Um, okay, so we're going to give uh, ground control a call and tell them uh, that we want to go to the runway, tell them our location, and also that we want to go through the uh, Class Charlie airspace uh, to another airport, and we'll see what they say. So here we go. And Chino ground, uh, gyro 378, Whiskey X-ray at Flying Tigers. And uh, we'd like to taxi to 26 right uh, with information X-ray, and we'd like a northbound transition through the Class Charlie uh, to Cable Airport. Charter Comfort 378, Whiskey X-ray, Chino ground. Roger on request, runway 26 right, taxi via Mike Delta Alpha, cross runway 21. Mike Delta Alpha, cross 21 to 26 right, 8 Whiskey X-ray. All right, so it's on request, which means he's working on it right now. Check out the A Whiskey Extra Maintain VFR at or below 2000, squawk 0202. Okay, uh, maintain at or below 2000 feet, squawk 0202, and that's for 8 Whiskey X ray. So, he says, let's just squawk 0202, so we're going to put that in our transponder. 0202, enter. That's a specific squawk code for us to go through the Class Charlie airspace for Ontario. All right, he also cleared us to the runway via Mike Delta Alpha cross runway 21 to 26 right. So we're on taxiway Mike right now. We're gonna go Mike, make a right on Delta, left on Alpha, and cross runway 21 on our way to 26 right. That all makes sense? Sounds like a lot of blah, blah, blah to me. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a right on Delta. And the very next intersection we're coming up to is Alpha. And we're going to make a left on Alpha. And we're actually crossing one of the runways. We're crossing runway 21. He gave us clearance to cross the runway, but just as for fun, I like looking both ways before I cross, like looking both ways before you cross the street. And I don't see anybody, so we'll continue on across runway 21 on our way to 26 right. So taxi speed, I like to keep slow. I don't like to do, like, the speed of a fast walk is about good for the taxi speed. You don't want to be like, hauling butt down the taxiway. Can I say butt? Can I say butt on our truck? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so also what I'm going to do is uh, once we stop at the run-up area, shouldn't be playing with your instrumentation or changing your radio settings and things while you taxi. Uh, you should be coming to a stop before you do that stuff. So once I get to the run-up area, beer will stop and I'll, uh, I'll put in some different frequencies and all for, uh, well, for Ontario Airport. Okay, we're here at the run-up area. I'm gonna go ahead and set the parking brake again. There we go. And then I'm going to into the uh, Ontario Tower frequency is 120.6. It's right there, 120.6. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip us over to, northbound to this tower. Approved, okay. But 120.6 in the standby frequency, and so it'll be ready when over we take seven, off. Eight, Bravo, start your go, please. Okay, so we're going to do our uh, run-up checklist right now. So we're at the run-up, and uh, we're warming our engine up at about 2,000 RPM here. That's good for the Rotex. They recommend you warm up at about 2,000. That way it doesn't shake the gearbox too badly. There we go. Okay, we're going to do a control check here. So we're going to do uh, the control check on the gyros just to stick it out. Right. Two traffic, turning a mile and a half yep. final for the parallel right. runway. An arrow at Looks 1,100 good. indicated. Yeah, roll the engine up to 4,000 RPM. Thank you, Juliet, number one, two, six left, where's the Duchess? Nine, three, Juliet, they're on the upwind, you're number one. Number one, nine, three, Juliet. 4,000 RPM, we're going to turn mag one off. Nine, Slight three, mag drop of about 100. Again. Back on. There, Charlie, you can resume the normal altitude. Uh, just now we'll try mag two. Roger, thanks. Slight 2000. drop of about uh, 80, not too bad. Mag two back on. And then we're going to pull the power back to idle. All right, looking good. Bag check looks good. Uh, back to our checklist here. So we're going to check the fuel gauge, and the fuel gauge says we have 17 gallons. That should be plenty of fuel for us. We only burn about four or five gallons an hour. Oil temperature is above 120 degrees. It's 180, so that's uh, plenty fine. Uh, we'll turn on some lights or navigation lights, maybe a strobe. And we're also going to turn on the second fuel pump for takeoff because that's a good safety thing to do. 
All right, the doors are secure. My door is good. Is your door good? I, my door is good. Perfect. And uh, we are going to roll up to the line. We'll see what the Cessna is going to do, first of all. Got to zero zero. Charlie, number two, follow a Cessna mile final. He's Runway coming to the run-up area, so we're going to go to get out of his way. Two six left there for the option, number two behind the Cessna. Zero zero, Charlie. So what I've done is I have our tower frequency for uh, Chino in. My standby is the Ontario Make Tower. Sure fly runway heading for traffic inbound uh, to the northwest. Runway heading here is my here. All right. And I'll check. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Perfect. I don't see any traffic coming on our runway. Okay. So I'm going to give the tower a call and tell them we're ready for our takeoff. Chino Tower, Gyro 378, Whiskey X-ray, holding short 26 right for a right crosswind departure. 378, Whiskey X-ray, Chino Tower, fly runway heading. I'll call your right turn for traffic. Runway 26 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff on 26 right, and you'll call our right turn 8, Whiskey X-ray. All right. <laughs> All right, Team Mike Sierra, for now, remain at or below 2,000. At or below 2,000, here, Team Mike Sierra. 9023, Papa, Chino Tower, on frequency by chance. All right, we're rolling out. As I roll out, I'm going to go into a flight mode on the gyro. That takes all the pressure off the stick, but I do have to keep the stick forward for our pre-rotation. I'm at about 2,000 RPM on our uh, RPM, and so I'm going to push the pre-rotor button, and it's going to start that blade a-turning. As the engine bogs down, I'm going to add a little bit of power. Nine or two, three, pop, change there. Rotor speed's 140, 150, 160. We're looking for 200, 70, 80, 90, 200. I'll give it a little extra. 210, 220. Four steps, thumb off the button. Straight out, I got aircraft. Stick back, back to release the parking brake, and off we go. Standing, I'm not talking them. All right, so as we roll here, I'm watching my rotor speed increase. It's 220, 230. When it gets up to 300, the nose is going to float up off the ground like we're popping a wheelie. 23, pop, chin tuck, join right down with runway 26. Almost there. Down with runway 26. Right, you got I'm on the pedals to make sure we stay Charlie, straight. Base approved runway T6 left, clear for the option. T6 left, clear for the option, yeah, base approved, there's a Charlie. There's the nose, gonna float up off the ground, I'm gonna add runway T6 full power. Keeping the nose close to the ground, when the machine is ready, it'll hop up by itself. The traffic's uh, passing off your right side there. On there we go, I'm gonna add some trim. You can turn northwest on the west side, 71. We're up at 60 miles an hour, so I'm gonna pull back on the stick, we climb out. Tower told us three, two, to go eight, straight ahead. On a and we're going to do that until he gives us our eight, turn to the right. Let's clear that traffic down to two and uh, one number two. Checking all my gauges. All my temperatures are looking good. Everything's looking pretty happy. Three pops, just continue on the downwind. I got traffic uh, trying to turn to the north. So just continue extending the downwind. I'll call your base. All right. So downwind, you call my base for information for your pop base. Thank you. Tower told us to stay under 2,000 feet. Zero, ready for a takeoff request. Touch and go. Check out the whiskey X-ray. Command is off your right side on the right downwind. We got him in sight. Eight whiskey X-ray. Whiskey X-ray, register. Turn direct cable, please. Direct cable. Eight whiskey X-ray. Not a zero echo. There's traffic. Uh, one o'clock a mile, turning towards cable. Eight gyrocopter. Do you have them in sight? Negative. We're looking at zero echo. Check out a whiskey X-ray. Uh, stop your altitude. Cli or stop your climb at 1,500 for me, please. 1,500. Eight whiskey X-ray. Nine zero echo. That jar copters off your right side. 1,500 cap. The other one side. In sight. Nine zero echo. Eight whiskey X-ray. Traffic behind and uh, behind you is a Cessna headed for the Cajon Pass. You can now remain at or below 2,000. Contact Ontario Tower 120.6. At or below 2,000. Contact Ontario Tower. Eight whiskey X-ray. Under zero, echo, let Ontario know you got the gyrocopter in sight. Ontario Tower is one two zero point six. Good day. Two zero. All right, so we're going to Ontario Tower, and I'm going to contact them. Ontario Tower, this is Gyroplane uh, three seven eight Whiskey X Ray, just off of Chino at one thousand six hundred, and heading to Cable. Gyroplane three seven eight Whiskey X Ray, X Ray Ontario Tower, Tower seven zero three zero zero four, and direct Cable and Airport is approved out of below two thousand five hundred. I think. Out of below 2,000, and we will identify for 8 Whiskey X-Ray. Zero 8 Whiskey X-Ray, X-Ray, now radar contact, four miles south of up here, port. 8 Whiskey X-Ray. So he basically said he sees us. So even though the Ontario uh, tower was a little scratchy, I, was, I could understand what he said.
I don't know if that was just my headset or... No, he was scratchy. <laughs> if you ever don't understand what they say, there's no harm or foul in just saying, please repeat. Looks like there's a lot of traffic at, at uh, Cable. Bunch of aircraft over here. We'll see what they're all doing. Charter AWX, uh, traffic 11 o'clock, four miles south on IT, in this case, 2,500 appears to be two of them. I think I have them in sight, uh, eight whiskey x-ray. So we're staying right at 2,000 feet because that's what he asked us to do. And he told us there's some traffic on our left here, which I see right over there. So we'll just watch out for those characters as well. And if you look to our right, there's Ontario Airport right over there. So is there anything else that we need to do while we're flying through their airspace? Not really. We're just monitoring what they're telling them, having them telling us what to do and uh, keeping an uh, eye on the traffic that's to our left and also to the airport that we're heading to. Okay. And of course, you're always monitoring your frequencies here. You're monitoring your, your temperatures and all in the gyro. Make sure everything is running the right way. Is there a technique to scanning the instruments? Charlie, AWA, you use got multiple aircraft appear to be in pattern at cable up to indicate 1,800 and 2,300. Air is returning to Squawk VFR for exchange proof. Squawk VFR for exchange proof. Thanks for your help, uh, Gyro 8 Whiskey Extra. All right, Squawk VFR, that means go back to 1,200 Oop. on our transponder. And, and he gave us the frequency change approved. So we're going to go ahead and put in the cable airport, which is 123.0. But we can listen into those guys. Last call, Flint Runway 24, cable traffic. Is cable tower controlled? It is not, and there's a whole ton of people that fly at cable. So you just got to kind of watch out for yourself. The Wild West. It is the Wild West. Cable traffic, white central, 486, turning left. Where's cable to us right now? Right there, in front of us. Oh, okay, I see it. And there's an airplane over here. He's the final two Turning on the final. I see it. And he's on our frequency here, so we got him in sight. We're going to clear the Ontario airspace. We're still in Ontario airspace right now. And then we're going to... Uh, actually, we're going to head back south again. What was special about Cable Airport over here? It's the largest privately owned airport in the country. Okay. Owned by the Cable family, as a matter of fact. All right, we have cleared the uh, Class Charlie airspace. So we're actually not gonna land at Cable. We're just gonna make a left turn here. And I go back, but we're gonna be outside of the Class Charlie airspace on the way back, so we don't need to contact them. We're actually under the shelf of the out the outer tier of Ontario, which is at 2,700, we're at 2,300, so we don't have to report to them. You can see us making the turn right there. Here come Green White Highway, Office Charlie, to the to the north. Cable. So the outer shelf of the Class C is 2,700. 2,700. The upper shelf is 5,000. So from 2,700 to 5,000, that belongs to Ontario. Flying that airspace, you got to give, give permission for it. Okay, so we're below 2,700. That's right. Okay. Is there a procedure that you use or a technique that you use to monitor the gauges and while maintaining like situational awareness outside? Sure. You're supposed to spend about 50-50, about 50% 50 of the time looking outside for traffic, 50% on your instruments. Uh, depends on how comfortable you are with flying and, and once you get a feel for the aircraft, you don't really have to look at the, at the instruments too much unless you're looking for traffic uh, on your ADS-B um, or you want to just keep monitoring your altitude and airspeed. So a quick glance to altitude and airspeed is always fine with a map and then looking back outside for traffic is usually a normal scanning technique. All right, so if you look at our position, we are northwest of the Chino Airport. The Chino airspace is coming up here pretty quick, so I'm going to call Chino and get permission to transition down the freeway uh, down to the Prado Dam. And Chino Tower, Gyro 378, Whiskey X-Ray. Uh, we're northwest of the position about, uh, oh, about four or five, four or five miles, like a southbound transition down to the Prado Dam. 
We've got the Cherokee in sight and we'll head down the freeway, the 71 to Prado, 8 with Skechter. Wind 2503. All right, we are now entering the class Delta airspace of Chino. Which is that dotted line right there? That's the six base there. Pet and go only for me for traffic control. So why is that airspace dotted versus because the solid that's brown? Because that's class Delta. The class Charlie is the um, the purple, and the uh, thick blue line is class Bravo, which is LAX. So now the Bravo starts at nine thousand feet. So nine to ten thousand feet above us is class Bravo. Above us, two thousand seven hundred to five thousand feet is the class Charlie. And we're actually in the Delta, which is under that. So we're under two different airspaces and a third. Wow. Okay. Piece of cake. <laughs> so, yeah. So this this part right here, that dotted okay, arc, or that half circle or something like that, that's the, that's the line for the airspace. That's the line for a right. class Delta, Delta airspace, airspace, which is cheap. Okay. Oh, hey, well, that was another fun day at Adventure Air. I'm um, just going to get a little shut-eye now. And, um, hey, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. And if there's anything that you want to see us do, uh, then let us know. Have a good one. Woo!